Hello, in this video we'll be installing Zwift on Linux using Wine. Our workstation has 12GB of RAM, an Intel i7 processor, and a GeForce 640M graphics card. First we'll head to the Zwift website to download the setup executable. Wine provides compatibility with Windows, so we'll want to Download the Swift installation file for Windows. It's about a 5 megabyte file. The installation itself will be much larger as we will see. Let's go to the desktop and move the file from our downloads folder here. And we'll just park that there for now. Next, we need to add some add-ons using Wine Tricks that will the script will help us install .NET and some tweaks that help with Windows 7 compatibility. So we will go to the Wine Tricks page on WineHQ. And here we will find a couple of lines that we can copy to our terminal to download the Wine Tricks script and make it executable. So let's copy these lines and go back to our terminal. Pasting these, uh, this is a very small script, so it downloads quite quickly. And now we can run winetricks.net sp of 35sp1 space win7. This will take a few minutes to download, and then we will be greeted with uh, by the GUI once that's done. In the meantime, we also need a program called run from process this allows you to launch one program as a child of another process and we'll need this for the workaround which allows us to launch the Zwift app once we're all done so let's just copy the web address here and we will double w get the file get into our desktop and then unzip the archive and make a directory for all of these files. Let's just move the files into the directory. And now we're ready for that step when everything else is installed. Let's accept the license agreement for .NET now. This will install in the background and this process takes on the order of 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, .NET is now installed. Uh, the Windows 7 flag in WineTrix is executing some additional things. Now that's done, let's run wine Zwift setup.exe. Can proceed through the GUI, accept the license agreement, choose your path where Zwift will be installed. Usually I choose custom paths to avoid spaces in the file path, but here I just use the defaults. Finish this. You will receive some prompts from Wine to install Mono and Gecko. I don't actually know what these do, but I canceled and everything was fine. There's also some comments on the forum about uh, possible incompatibilities with Mono, so consider also canceling when you get to that stage. This is then the long haul. Once uh, Zwift starts installing, it has to download a lot of the, the meat of the application from the internet. So this will be highly dependent, that the time it takes will be highly dependent on your internet connection. If you watch the clock at the top, it started about 6 p.m. 1800 hours and as you can see it's taken right about an hour to reach this point. Once the installation and updating is complete we will be greeted with this white screen and this is where we need the assistance of the run from process app. So 
So here and now I'm going to demonstrate the workaround. Let's once again launch Swift Launcher using Wine. We are greeted by the white screen. Let's now use Wine to run our application run from process dot exe we need to make sure we are using wine okay run from process dot exe tab completion works now zwift launcher dot exe and zwift app dot exe this will launch zwift app as a child process to Swift Launcher. And there you go. We are greeted with the blue splash screen for Zwift. I'm just going to resize the window to reduce the resolution. You log in. Once you have logged in, you'll be land on this page. And I was not able to get Bluetooth to work natively. I don't think that is currently possible, but it, you can instead use the Zwift companion app, which is here in the middle of the screen. So that is on my phone, and once you have connected, you will be see the circles emanating from the phone icon. If we now search for sensor and pedal, we'll be able to sync the Zwift companion with the native, the main Zwift app. So that's it. Um, from here now, I'm pulling some video from an FTP test I did yesterday, or a couple days ago. And once you select your trainer, you should be ready to go. So I'm just going to include a few minutes of my FTP test here. Uh, FTP test from Zwift includes a warm-up period and then a 20-minute uh, full throttle period that actually tests your mean power. And there you have it. This is just some footage from my FTP test that I recently performed. I came out of the gate a little too strong, as you'll see if you watch that video. I thought I could, you know, hit around 300 watts for 20 minutes, but uh, I was not as fresh as I thought. So, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave feedback in the comments below. Like and subscribe if this content is interesting to you. And that's all I have. Thank you.